Okay, welcome to the tips for Sunday the 29th of September 2024. Let's do a quick recap of how yesterday's results went. If we have a look, most of them came in. We only had one scratching and we skipped two with odds. Given that, we made $2.01 using a $30 liability, um, which took our total for... Um, those where we stick to the odds up to $35.18. Now, had you gone with all of them, you would have ended up with $2.20 off the $30 liability, which takes that up to $68.37. So looking pretty good um, again. So we're up to 449 lays now for only one loss, which is pretty good. To jump into today and get these out nice and quickly. Um, there were two tracks that I didn't find anything to lay. They were Devonport and Alice Springs. Um, both very interesting tracks that um, have small fields and generally all weather tracks. So couldn't find anything there, but did find quite a bit at the other tracks. So let's have a quick look at Dubbo. Um, we'll start at Dubbo, race one, number two and number 20. Um, number two has had three poor trials, suggesting it's got no hope in its first start here. Um, I'm willing to risk that up to the $1,000 odds. And number 20 had a poor trial and one run so far that didn't go too well, suggesting that this race is again too hard and I'm willing to go up to 150 in Dubbo race two, we've got two horses as well, numbers 13 and 18. So for number 13, I'm willing to go up to $600 in the odds. Um, it's had five runs for zero wins. It's in a wide barrier. It doesn't look like it's got a chance. And number 18, I'm willing to go up to the $1,000 odds again. We'll end up at the back and not be able to run on in this race. So it's um, I'm willing for, to risk it at any odds. Dubbo race three, number 11, I'm also willing to risk up to the $1,000 odds. It's a big step up in class and I don't expect this jockey to add many lengths to the horse. So I expect it to um, struggle against the other horses in this race. And then we jump to Dubbo race eight, number 18. Um, I'm willing to risk up to $700 in the odds. It's Likes to run on wet ground. All of its form is on wet ground. Whenever it's run on good ground, it does not do too well. Um, the going at this track is good. If Dubbo was to become wet, for instance, you wouldn't want to be laying that horse. But right now, it's rated as a good track, and I expect it will stay as a good track. We jump over to Port Macquarie for race one, number two, risking up to $200 in the odds. Um, it hasn't done much. It's likely to be back at the field. Um, so, yeah, not much in that race. Then we jump to Mornington, race five, number 10. We've got a horse that hasn't done anything in 14 starts, so I'm willing to risk that up to the $1,000 in the odds. Then we have Sunshine Coast, race three, number 18. It's had seven runs, zero wins. It's a very poor race, Um so this one made it very interesting. I don't think it's really got a chance, but because I couldn't really find a, a winner in the race, I've only put the odds at 50 because it's just, I can't see where a winner comes from in this race. It's a very uncompetitive race. Um, well, any there's no good horses at all. Um, then let's jump to Port Lincoln, race two, number 12. Again, I've only done $50 here. It's because it's only had trial form. Again, there's not much in the race. It looks like it can actually win. Um, but the trial form is so bad that I don't expect its first run to to do anything. The $50 is probably too short. It'll probably go at odds a lot longer than that, but that's what I'm willing to put in. Um, then we jump to Bunbury, where I have a heap of horses. There are some large fields here. I wouldn't... Um, expect that all these will come in. I expect there'll be some scratchings that um, come up late and we might lose some of these, but the, the fields are huge and the horses just have a very poor perform. 
not not great at all. So let's go through on Bunbury, race one, number five. It's outclassed in a very small field. I think it's like five horses. Um, I'm willing to risk that up to $300. Bunbury, race three, number one. I'm willing to risk up to $150. Um, it's had some pretty poor trials, uh, recent poor trials, and the form isn't great on that horse. Bunbury race four, we've got numbers two and six. Both of those I'm willing to risk up to 1,000 odds, so lay at any odds. Um, number two is outclassed. It's got an apprentice jockey. It's at the wrong distance. Number six struggles at the track and at this class. it's I just see it at the back and it hasn't got much chance. Then we go to race five where I've got three horses, two, three, and seven. Um, now, if we look at number two, I'm willing to risk up to $150 in the odds. It's had 19 runs for one placing. Number three, I'm willing to risk up to $150 in the odds. It's had 13 runs for no placings. Um, and I don't think it's got the speed in the straight to catch up. And number seven, I'm risking up to $200. It's had one run. It lost by 20 lengths. It's only other trial. It lost by like 13 lengths from memory. I can't see it being competitive in this race um, at all. Then we jump to race six, where again, I've got three horses. It's five, six, and 10. Now, number five, I'm willing to risk up to 250 in the odds. It's got a wide barrier and the form is, is pretty shocking. Race uh, number six in race six, I'm willing to go to any odds at a thousand. It's got a wide barrier and the recent trial suggests it doesn't have much of a chance and it's born before that was pretty poor. And race six, number 10, up to any odds, it's going to get back. And again, it's not going to have the speed to chase this. Its form is pretty terrible. So all up, we have, let me count these up. We currently have 20 selections for today. So with any luck, um, at least 15 plus of those run and we we get all of those in for another successful day. It's only been the one loss so far. Um, so hoping to keep that run up above the 500 tips. Um, yep, I'll leave it there. So if you are having a lay on these, um, remember to only use money that you're willing to lose. Obviously these things do win occasionally. We've had one come in. Um, they are not guaranteed losers. It is just that we have a very high percentage chance that they will lose, but they can lose. So I'm always flat staking on these. My number is generally around the 3000 lay on each of these, which does add up um, to make the time worthwhile on doing these. But I'll leave it there. And um, if you guys are following, um, I hope you get some wins today. Thanks for watching. See ya.